Hello everyone and welcome to this slightly lopsided Video Sound Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today we're going to be unboxing something that's a wee bit uh, special. Now uh, what this is, is a laptop. Not just any laptop. Well, I guess it kind of is, but um, it's a laptop that despite its consumer background, if you will, and the time period it came from and what operating system it would have uh, generally came with, is actually a cult classic machine, which is really quite odd. This machine is, and Road Geek will be very pleased with this, a Dell Inspiron 1525. Now, those of you who know me will know that um, I do have a very soft, squidgy spot for the Dell Inspiron 1545, which came out in 2009, right on the cusp of Windows 7's release. Of course, some came with Windows Vista, some came with Windows 7. I love the 1545. It's another one of those machines that, despite being consumer grade, it's, um, it's actually really quite a good laptop and I've been after one for quite some time. I really very much like the 1545. Now, Road Geek recently got and sell a 1525 and um, he's made his a lot fancier than what mine is because he's actually uh, put a Car 2 Joe in it. But he said, Jay, if you love the 1545, you'll definitely love the 1525. Um, <clears throat> if you are the YouTuber's own one, um, Cube Computer Channel, he loves it. And I do believe John L5 owns one as well. So, without further ado, let's get this box opened. Now, I've um, got a couple of things here. My uh, trusty box cutter, I hope that actually works. And a pair of scissors. Now, safety first. <clears throat> we need a nice hot cup of tea. Also, and I've done this the wrong way around, so what I normally do. Um, also, if you're the sort of person who thinks that George Osborne's budget is actually going to help people and is a good thing, then you're probably going to need an adult to actually cut open the box for you if you were to unbox something yourself. Um, because clearly you're not responsible enough with knives or you know, even safety scissors um, that would be used in a primary school. So have someone else do it for you. Anyway, let's, um, let's get to the chopping. Right, there we go. Hopefully I should be able to just skim. Ah, there we go. Box cutters are quite good because it's not a blade that's uh, facing down into the box. It's actually a plastic edge, a blade on the inside. So, you know, the, you're less likely um, to be carving up, um, you know, anything that's in a package. There we go. Open says a me. Open says a who? Open says a me. Open says a me street. And here we have um, a power supply. Um, <coughs> I think it's a, I think it could be a third party one, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I do have original Dell ones though. This is the second a uh, lot of this uh, more rigid kind of bubble packing that I've got. Is this kind of a new thing? I have an invoice. Um, 
Dell Inspiron 1525 Intel dual core 160 gigabyte hard disk drive, 2 gigabytes of RAM, Windows Vista laptop 61910. And um, postage and packaging didn't seem to cost anything, despite the despite the fact that they took it upon themselves to use a 24 hour courier. So I'm very happy with that. Then again, the price of $59.99 does kind of take into account. My goodness, this machine is a lot thinner than one might expect. Mm -hmm. Oh, this does feel very nice. box over there. Oh wow, and there we have it. That's uh, quite a funky design. Um, I didn't realise this lid was glossy as well. It kind of looks more like a 1545. I, I don't know why. Oh, but we've got a bit of plastic breaking off. That's high quality. I like that, actually. Very nice. Dell really did. I mean, you know, once once they'd gotten over the um, Inspiron 6000-esque design phase, they really did try and put a lot of effort into kind of make their laptops, well, yeah, appeal, shall we say. But it's almost like I, don't, I, I really don't know. Anyway, why don't, why don't I have a look at it instead of trying to explain how I feel about the design of this machine. Obviously, if I was buying it brand new, I'd, um, I'd get it in blue. Because if I bought this machine brand new and specified the lid to be blue, then folk would turn around and say, gee, well that is just you. And I, I would say, I cannot, what else would I do? To which folks would say, you know it's rather strange, Jay, because normally you wouldn't say do. You see, every other day, you would say, Bit else with a D. <laughs> um, right, anyway, what I'll do is I'll change the camera angle and uh, we'll get going. I think what's happened here is um, the CMOS battery might have died. Let's have a look. Okay, well, we're in CMOS, we're in the BIOS, so we may as well have a wee look around here and uh, see what's talking. Dell Inspiron 1525 using the A13 BIOS. Processor, oh my goodness, that is a seller on. I thought. <coughs> <coughs> Dual core seller on. <coughs> yeah, I didn't actually realise. Um, Billy did say to me last night that mine was a seller on, but I have ordered a core 2 Duo for it. Um, so I'll throw that in. Um, it's got two gigs of memory, uh, running at five hundred and thirty-three megahertz. Uh, DDR two, got a one one sixty gig hard disk and a DVD ROM RW drive with um, Intel Crestline graphics. Um, reckons it's eight meg video, but I don't think it is. Twelve eighty by eight hundred. Um, 15 by 4 display. No webcam on this one. Um, <clears throat> but it's a matte display. So when I'm... Which, um, you know, matte displays are actually becoming a lot less um, common back in 2007. 
We also have um, a battery, which is probably charging. There's a Segmentel audio controller, Connexent modem, um, Dell wireless modem, no, no cellular or, or Bluetooth device or flash cache module, and it's plugged into a 65 watt power adapter. I do have the larger capacity one that I could plug in. Um, apparently the battery's performing normally. Anyway, let's see if I can set the time here. So it's, um, it's July the 17th, 2015. All right, okay. The 20's already written down for you. And the time is... All right, okay, maybe it won't accept a 24 hour time, or as the Americans call it, military time. Um, it's 8, I'm gonna say 54 p.m. There we go. Boot sequence, onboard devices. Let's um, <clears throat> make everything en enabled, external USB port. Firewire, SATA, AHCI mode. Um, Wireless switch change. The changes to the wireless switch setting are permitted. Yeah, we'll, we'll get out of security. Um, enable multi-core support, dynamic acceleration. Um, HDT acoustic mode, let's bypass and speed step enable. There's no... <coughs> There's no virtualization support on this processor, probably because it's a Celeron. Adapter warning, blah, 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 fast boot. Um, keypad embedded, this one doesn't actually. Oh, right, yeah, FN key only. Yeah, that, that'd be good, actually. Um, <clears throat> and then wireless. Um, Wireless switch for cellular and Bluetooth. As in things that this machine just does not have. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to have it... Um, load the uh, default settings. Let's see now. Yep, yeah, load defaults. Continue. Um, we'll save the changes to set up, will we? Now, hopefully, <coughs> this will work and it's... Oh, yeah. The older Dell logo. Now, Road Geek reckons that this machine just kind of feels better than the D630. I would say I'm starting to agree. I mean, I like the D630 and you know, all, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel as solid. Right, and yes, this machine is running Vista. I wonder if it's got a restore program. If it does, what we'll do is we'll, we'll run it and see what... <clears throat> what goes on. Very quiet. Windows Vista load. Whoopsie. With this machine having a cellar on, though, I can't actually imagine it's too quick. Oh, must I do like that. The design of the case has been extended to the desktop. <coughs> 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 
McAfee, lovely. This awful Dell toolbar, again, lovely. Google Desktop, lovely. <laughs> wow, Tesco the internet. Dell Support Center. Yeah, I mean, I do find this very difficult to see. Oh, look, Dell Software and Utilities. I mean, I had the Toshiba laptop as my Windows Vista machine. And, um, well, I've decided to get this and, and the Toshiba... I'm going to give away on free cycle. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yeah, Windows Vista. Ugh. I wonder if I wanted to restore this back to its factory settings, I forget how I would uh, go about doing such a thing. I mean, certainly with the 1545s, I spent, I spent quite a lot of my trading time actually upgrading those from Windows Vista to Windows 7. And it was always kind of the same story. Windows Vista ran on them very slowly, uh, not very well, you know, really quite poorly, that sort of thing. Windows 7 installed much better and if you add the extra gig of ram and install uh, the 64-bit version i have no idea what's going on up there um right <laughs> Tell you what I'm going to do. Going to see if I can invoke factory reset on here. Okay, I think I've got it. Oh, jings. Yeah, I really do need to factory restore this. I know, I know I should format the hard drive. I should get rid of everything and just kind of install Windows 7. I know. I already know. So basically what I'm going to do is shut the machine down because I've reset the CMOS I'm basically resetting everything on the machine. Reset the CMOS and reset the software so hopefully it really will be like um, a brand new machine. Right, so I've pressed F8 pretty much between the Dell logo and the Windows Vista um, start screen, start up screen, the pathetic startup screen that it came with, um, to get this menu. And what we want to do now is go to repair your computer. What that will do <coughs> is that will boot, in, boot into the Windows Vista installation environment, uh, kind of a BART PE thingy, and it will enable me, oh, <laughs> it's really quick, that bit is really quick on this machine. Right, 
And what we're going to do is I'm going to select, um, and I think because this background is grey, it's, um, you seem to get that on custom install environments. So I need to, I need to actually get, um, the United Kingdom keyboard layout. United States into see where <laughs> it's a UK keyboard. United Kingdom, there we go. Right, so I've selected the keyboard layout. And now, yep, asking me for the password. I just kind of clicked next, or okay. And then Dell Factory Image Restore. Um, this utility will restore your system software to the state it was in when it left the factory in order to return to this return the system to the factory state, all personal files will be overwritten. That's absolutely fine. Warning, the utility will format reformat your operating system hard drive and partition prior to restoring the factory image. This means data on your partition will be deleted and cannot be recovered. To confirm this action, please check the box below and press the next button. Yes, reformat the hard drive. Um, performing factory image restore. This utility is now reformatting your hard drive and restoring the factory image. This process may take over five minutes to complete. Over five minutes? <laughs> These things just get quicker and quicker. I mean, I have seen, I mean, I would say the average time for a system restore from a factory image is probably about half an hour. But um, recently they, they have been getting quite quick. Obviously, there are some that just take forever. Seriously. Um, Packard Bell, I'm looking squarely in your direction with your modern wind prep nonsense. Well, sort of modern. It was, anyway. <laughs> but uh, what we're doing now is we're just kind of restoring the factory image. Now, this... Restoration looks a lot less threatening than the one on the Toshiba did. I mean, now it's just kind of text boxes and text boxes and text boxes and, you know, command line, bits of command line kind of floating past at, at some sort of speed. It was, it was, um, not text boxes, it was like command prompt windows. I mean, it worked. I quite liked it personally. You know, it actually gave me a, a, a percentage meter, which this doesn't seem to do. But, um, you know, for a first-time user, someone who's maybe not so experienced, this is perfectly fine. Completely non-threatening. The only bit where they'd get confused is the keyboard layout option. Because there's millions of them! Um, but yeah, so anyway... During this process, I would probably argue to go make yourself a cup of tea or something. I have my cup of tea here. Fine mug of Scottish blend. Mm. By the way, Scottish blend does not pay me to talk about their tea. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just the tea I drink. Genuinely is. Um, you know, it's my favourite tea with this water. Anyway, I'll come back once the system has been restored. Okay, so now I've got a wee box here that says factory image successfully restored. Your operating system and factory installed applications have now been restored to the state they were in when they left the factory. You will need to reinstall any applications that you've added since you received the system. Press the finish button below to reboot your system. I'm just going to hit enter. While it's doing that, I've decided um, it might be um, 
It might be a fant fantastic idea if I were to attach such a thing as a moose. I know this is only the factory restore portion, but this machine does not seem to exude too much of an air of sluggishness, despite its lowly specs. I mean, okay, it is a dual core Celeron, and it does have two gigs as opposed to one. Um, but, you know, if I was building a Vista machine, I would want something a wee bit better. But, I mean, I guess... <clears throat> it was around this time that uh, the Celadon started to get better. I mean, it was <laughs> really it was rock bottom when we hit um, when we got the Celadon D. Celadon D was just a lie. Ah, here we go. Dell, Windows Vista Home Premium, United Kingdom, English United Kingdom, United Kingdom. Well, I guess that's what you get if you're using a Brit a British image. So I'm going to click next. Accept the license terms. Do I wish to... Yep, you have to accept both the Microsoft license terms and I think Dell's license terms as well. Right. <clears throat> I want to type in my name. J. And my password. Now here's a step that you don't get in newer versions of Windows. Selecting your desktop background. Now, with vanilla copies of Vista, you'd get um, a selection of Vista desktop backgrounds. But with OEM versions, you know, factory um, factory included versions, you'd also get to choose from a list of OEM, Original Equipment Manufactured, uh, Manufacturer's Wallpapers. My attempt to UXW bill it up failed. I'm going to choose this one, which matches the lid of the machine. And we're going to use the recommended settings for updating. Well, I never did think. <coughs> I never did think. What I wish to do is actually connect it up to my network. I completely, you know, it completely escaped me that um, these newer machines like internet access. They don't necessarily need it, but well, things are a whole lot better once you have. Okay, so I've plugged that into the Ethernet port, and I'm going to finish. So now Windows Vista does a performance test. Um, I don't know how Windows 7 did its performance test because, I mean, you, I don't remember you haven't... In fact, you didn't. You don't have to go through this waiting part during setup. It just kind of did it itself, you know. It, it just kind of appeared to install itself and no... Um, and know the results of a uh, benchmark test. <clears throat> but I must admit, I do like the newer Dell Inspirons. I think, you know, I think there's, uh, you know, certainly made themselves a lot better. A lot of people, a lot of people complain bitterly about the Inspirons because, you know, a lot of them broke down, but I mean, some like this, you know, these aren't too bad. <laughs> there was a lot from the mid-2000s, though, that didn't fare so well. I mean, you've got, um... I mean, you've got things like the, the Inspiron 5150, the 2650, the, the 1150. Actually, I don't know about the 2650, but 
I mean, 1150s could fail, they'd overheat. Um, the 5150, um, <clears throat> yes, that is the correct model number, Dell Inspiron 5150. I know it's amusing that um, here's a PC compatible, in a way, that has the same model number as the original IBM PC as we know it. Um, and no, I don't think that um, you could get an uprated panel from a uh, display from Dell, uh, which carried the model number 5153. Um, and no, I don't believe that they did a Dell Inspiron 5170, although I could be wrong, or 5160. But they did do a Dell Latitude XT which is quite amusing. <laughs> so they've, they've actually, Dell, what they've done, <laughs> what they've done is they've made, uh, Dell have made a 5150 and they've also made an XT. Um, I don't think they've made an 80 though, which is a bit of a shame. And they've certainly, certainly not made a Dell PS2. I mean, they've made Dell PS2 accessories, PS2 mice, keyboards, that sort of thing. PS2 compatible systems, but... Um, Certainly, they've never used a model PS2 or, you know, or, or even anything like Intellistation or Think Center. Or, yeah, imagine that, a Dell ThinkPad. <laughs> That'd be both Luke and Billy approved. So, yeah, I mean, so when, when Dell had finished nicking all of IBM's model names... They made these systems, and, you know, these were good. I mean, the 6000 is pretty fantastic, you know, pretty durable, but unfortunately, once again, a lot of them died, you know. In the mid-2000s, nobody knew how to make a system that didn't overheat. And a lot of machines were plagued by the capacitor epidemic, which, had, if it had happened 10 years later, would have been called Capacitor Gate. Anyway, let me uh, log on. I think some people might have actually referred to the capacitor epidemic as Capgate or Capacitor Gate. I don't know. I, th I think uh, Capgate does sound familiar. But I mean, it's it's. <laughs> why is it that? Why is it that these fads stick? And why is it that before I would have? I mean, I find it quite amusing, but in another way. I just kind of think it's a bit of a pointless fad, like to call everything, you know, call every kind of, um, every kind of, uh, ah, oh, James, I've lost the word. Um, to call every single indiscretion something gate. It's not the word I was looking for, but, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it kind of referred to the uh, Watergate scandal of the 1960s, I think it was, Richard Nixon. And, um, you know, that the, um, that actually was called Watergate. That wasn't anything to do with per uh, water supplies and people thinking 50 years into the future about, you know, social trends. <clears throat> Yeah, I must be getting old, if I think half of these things are silly fads, really. And actually, you know what, I've actually started to find, like, garden centres interesting as well. Like, I kind of found as I've, I've gone through my 20s that, you know, I've gone from kind of, well, actually, you know, my late teens as well, but um, I've gone from finding, like, garden centres boring as a kid to absolutely loving going around them as an adult. <laughs> and everyone knows that garden centres have some of the best coffee shops. And if you've um, and if you don't believe me and you live in the area, try means of drum and bankery or Dobby's. I mean, those are two perfectly good examples of garden centres with fantastic uh, cafes in them. Right. Okay. Now I can quit prattling on about sounding a lot older than I actually am, and. Um, Get myself uh, acquainted with what Dell thinks is a good idea of a factory install. Now, obviously, this install was well into the 2000s. So, product, uh, so 
productivity software, there will be not. Possibly a copy of Works. They were still kind of generous enough to give you that back in the day. <clears throat> but possibly, it's probably all just a version, a trial version of an antivirus program. I think McAfee, because that's what was loaded on it before. Probably a shortcut to eBay, like on the Toshiba. And... Uh, why? What, why do they insist on... Why, why do... What, why? And these... And I'll tell you something else that I don't miss. These stupid dogs. Okay? We already have... I mean, okay. Windows Vista is not the best operating system by far. But it does have a good user interface. You know, that is something that it does have going for it. You know, you have a start menu. You know, proper, honest to goodness start menu. A taskbar. If you don't like the modern start menu, you can even go back to a classic start menu. You know, from the Windows 9 XME 2000 days. Oh, set up my internet connection. Oh, you've got um, internet from BT. Well, whatever that stands for, it doesn't seem to bode well. Because BT could either be British Telecom, who always seem to fool around when you need to install a telephone line. Better Together, the corrupt unionist movement that... Um, that was successfully able to rig our independence referendum, or bedroom tax. The um, spare room subsidy for people in rented accommodation who get housing benefit, even if they're not able to downsize, or if they need an extra room for med for medical equipment, if a member of their household needs such equipment. Bedroom tax basically means they're having to pay more of the rent than they can... And, and a lot of people have been able to uh, been unable to afford it and have been evicted and what have you. So um, <clears throat> if anyone can find something where the initials BT are actually good, why don't you post it below? <laughs> Seriously. Because <laughs> I I've, I've found three very negative ones. I mean, and, and before before you all start saying this, I'm going to kind of I'm going to kind of stop this one now because it's not the initials BT on their own. The one that I was thinking that people might want to write is BLT, Bacon, Lettuce and Tomato Sandwich. And yes, indeed, they are delicious, but it's not BT. Anyway, because I don't want BT, I'm going to connect using an existing network or ISP. Next. The trial subscription of McAfee Securities Enter is installed in your computer. To protect your system now, click here. How about no? Your computer comes with Google Gadgets, a software that helps you view news, photographs, and more. You can also customize your desktop with interactive Google Gadgets that are, that are organized in a sidebar on the right side of your screen, as shown here. And then shown over there, but we're not going to tell you about that. <coughs> Gadgets are many applications with a variety of possible uses. They can be calculators, games, them stupefied pieces of paper, and more. If you'd like to close the Google sidebar and launch a Windows Vista sidebar as your default sidebar, click here to switch sidebars. And I'll keep this setting on the machine. Microsoft Windows Vista can help you transfer music, photographs, and emails and sends from your previous computer. There are several ways to transfer data depending on the capabilities of you and your computer. This may be time consuming process depending on the method to transfer and how much data you plan to transfer. To begin, click the transfer data button now. Or you could all just, all y'all just could click finish. Y'all come back now, you hear? <coughs> right, enough of that. And I do believe I'm connected to the internet. See, there's 
there's the two computers um, connected to um, a blue and green Brussels sprout at the bottom right there. Now, um, apparently I'm not allowed to call it Brussels sprouts anymore. Oh, and there's already Windows updates, Kelsa Prunes. So let's have a look at what software we've got on here. Dell Doc, Dell Quickset, Dell Support Center, Dell Wireless. Games. Yay, Parable Place! Goggle Desktop, Intel Matrix Storage Manager, McAfee, Microsoft Works, Modem Diagnostic Tools, uh, net waiting and startup. So as I suspected, oh yeah, and there's Adobe Acrobat read. There's Adobe Acrobat Reader 8.0. So as I suspected, this machine has basically came with hee haw. Okay, so now I've installed a load of applications, and um, well, the system seems to be in a state where it is now up and running. So what am I going to do with it? Well, first of all, I think what I'm going to do is upgrade the processor. In fact, I know I'm going to upgrade the processor because there's one on order. Secondly, maybe the memory. And lastly, I really don't know. Um, you know, I, I might upgrade it to seven. <laughs> <clears throat> I like preserving system images where I can, <clears throat> and I know that I'm going to be losing a Vista time capsule, but to be honest, I've got a better machine for that. Oh wow, <laughs> there's the old version of iTunes as well. I I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, <clears throat> I'd like to upgrade it to seven. If I, if I mean, I would be happy if I could make a restore DVD with this system. You know, so that if I wanted to, I could put it back to Vista. And there is a Vista COA on the bottom, so actually reinstalling Vista, that's not a problem, but with the original image and what have you, I, I wouldn't mind. I, I'm a bit of a... I am a bit of a stickler for software images. But, um... Oh, yeah, definitely one upgrade to seven. <laughs> this machine deserves a better operating system. It's a fantastic wee machine. It'd be brilliant to have as a knockabout Windows 7 machine. I pro probably would take it as well. Although, it is in very good condition, so I don't actually literally mean have it as a knockabout machine. But, um, yeah, I just, I just really like it. I really like the design. I like... <clears throat> I like um, how solid it feels. You know, I, I like, um, I just, I, I like the machine, okay? <laughs> and I probably will put Windows 7 on it. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is maybe end this video. And then Curse as uh, Windows tries to install 16.8 million updates. And, um... <clears throat> With that, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. If you like my channel, you like what I do, please follow. Uh, please follow us on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to the channel. The URLs will, of course, follow. But in the meantime, thank you for watching and please join me for the next video.